Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Enshrouded. This game is recently launched and it's currently in beta. So you can watch this video and improve your performance. Make sure to watch it till the end. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is the best window settings. And for that, you have to open up settings on your PC. And once you are over here, you have to look up for gaming. Then go over to game bar and make sure to turn this thing off as game bar consumes a lot of processing in the background. Right after that, go and turn on game mode because this will help you to turn off your applications and processes in the background that will help you to increase your performance. Game mode by far has given me a lot of FPS boost, so it's completely safe to turn on. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Simply open it up, click on change default graphic settings, and enable this option that is hardware accelerated GUP scheduling. And if you can turn on, also do it for optimization for windowed games. Right after that, you have to go back to graphics, and then over here, click on the browse button and add your game into this list. So go over to Uncharted folder and then add Uncharted.exe. Simply go over to options and then select high performance and then simply click on save. All right, step number two is Enshrouded compatibility settings. And for that, you have to open up the installation directory of Enshrouded, go over for the exe file, then click on properties right over here, go to compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimization as well as click on change DPI scaling behavior, select this option and then click on application, simply click on OK and apply. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin, as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Step number 3 is de-animating your windows and this is super simple. Simply look up for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and then click on adjust for best performance. Click on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts and once it is done, simply click on apply. This will help you fix all of the unnecessary animations on your windows which keeps on consuming your processor. Next step is system configuration and for that you have to search for system configuration on your PC. Then over here go over to the boot settings, click on advanced option, click on number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors available for your PC. This will utilize all of your CPU cores while booting up and it is also good for gaming in the long run. Once you are done with that, go over to the services section, click on hide all Microsoft service and disable all of your Adobe, fan control and browser related services. I have already done it. So once it is done, simply click on apply and it will set the best settings for your windows. Next step is creating a restore point and for that you have to simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Then look up for your local disk C, click on create and name it and shrouded. Then simply click on the create button. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential in saving your system's integrity. If you want to restore every setting back to normal, you can always do that with one single click. Next step is fixing all of your internet issues using Game Booster. Gear Booster is pro's choice to fix all of your network issues and packet loss and ping issues. You can simply download this from the link in the description below and the application should look like this. They have recently added Enshrouded into their list. So you can simply search for Enshrouded in this list and click on it to one click boost your games. This will help you to tunnel your internet connection straight from your PC to the game servers and it will automatically pick the nearest server to you. Now, as you guys can see, it shows me 92 milliseconds of estimated ping which is an improvement by 60 percent so 
Gear Booster will definitely help you guys to fix your internet issues, ping issues, packet loss and input latency. And you can try it for free on your windows, so simply go check out Gear Booster. Links are in the description below. Now next step is the enshrouded FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can also join my discord server for the download link as well. Once you're over here, you'll find in 4 simple folders. The first one is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. Now for that, you have to search for system information on your PC. Look for your processor over here that is AMD for me. Also take a look of your installed physical memory and over here I have to run the AMD CPU priority. You can simply double click to run it. But if you have an Intel CPU, I have also left an Intel priority. Next is the RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of registries over here which you guys can use. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to run this one but you can pick up any one of this list if you have installed on your PC. Once again, if you don't like it, you can always reset it back to default. Next folder is the enshrouded priority in which there is enshrouded above normal, high priority and normal priority priority. Now for this, you have to leave your PC specifications down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from. You can pick one between above normal and high priority and see whichever works best for you. If you don't like it, I have also left a normal priority which will reset the registries back to normal. Last is the Windows optimization. This is completely optional. If all of the other three help you out, you don't have to do it. But I highly recommend you guys to do it for maximum performance in all of your games. This includes disabling unnecessary services, background applications, score parking, disabled downloading maps, transparency improve system responsiveness to fix input latency as well as win32 priority separation all of them will help you somewhere to increase your fps by 5 to 15 percent and if you don't like it you can always revert them back to normal from this one and with that we are done with the fps pack last step is the best in game settings and for that i recommend you guys to open up and shout it and follow the best in game settings okay so once you're in your game what you have to do is press your escape key and then you have to go over to settings in here you have to go display settings and then in the display mode set your game to full screen and your resolution should be your native resolution however you can always downscale your resolution scale somewhere between 75 to 85 percent will get you the best fps possible then vsync should be turned off fov should be increased to the maximum then limit frame rate in background you have to keep this thing to on quality preset you have to leave it as it is anti-aliasing put this thing to DLSS and then for DLSS quality set this thing to performance however if DLSS is not available for you you can always set this thing to FSR2 and you can set this thing to performance as well for texture resolution go with performance then for shadow quality go with balanced contact shadows keep it on indirect lighting you have to keep this thing to balance for reflections keep this thing to balance for quality you can go with performance volumetric shadow quality now this is really really important your volumetric shadow quality will impact a lot of your fps so set this thing to performance then you have ssao you have to set this thing to off distant objects you have to keep this thing to balanced for voxel detail models you can go with off small foliage keep it balanced tessellation set this thing to off and point light shadows keep this into performance once it is done go to the sound settings and over here make sure that your dynamic reverb is set to off and once it is done press your escape key and then go back to your game and your game should look like this so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out